Hi guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, here today we are going to be doing a little bit of a bunch of things. It's going to be more of a vlog type video. Uh, but I need to empty out my truck first before we start. I've got some fly fishing stuff in here. Because I tried to go fly fishing yesterday. Uh, it didn't pan out. Um, don't even know if I'm... I, no, I won't make a video over it. But I'll show you all a short clip right here. Oh my god getting caught up everywhere I'll show y'all a short clip of what we were doing yesterday trying to make a video for y'all it just didn't pan out so I'm gonna get this stuff out of here uh, that was a little bit of video that we had yesterday I tried to make um, for fly fishing out on the Trinity River and this is the progress I've made on my shed it's still not super clean, but it's a little bit better than before. Some of this stuff needs to go in my truck. Some of it needs to just get out of here completely. And this freaking grill needs to be thrown away. Because we got a new one. So, let me just go ahead. But that is for another day. So, I want to go ahead and put this fly fishing stuff back in here. And I've got to grab one of my soft coolers because today is the uh, some championship game against Alabama and Clemson hold on I think that's Baylor what's up Baylor hey. what are you doing you just woke up well, say hello to the the vlog, man. You're on it right now. Really? Yeah, I was just talking about what we're going to be doing today. And All right, well, we'll figure it out later. I'm going to head on over in about 10, 10, 15 minutes. All right. So, so guys, that is what we are working with today. A little sleepy Baylor. Uh, I'll leave that bag of hunting clothes. I need to get away from this. I'll leave that bag of hunting clothes in there. Uh, I need, though, to grab my soft Yeti cooler. Uh, I think this one would be better. It's got a bigger. Hi, guys. So there's the meat. I left it in the freezer last, or in the fridge last night. I should have just taken it out altogether. Here are the ribs. We're going to chunk those bad boys in there. And then we've got heart two back straps and the tender loins, I think. Hi right, guys, so I'll show you this later, but quickly what my girlfriend got me for uh, Christmas is this Bearded Butcher's uh, seasoning, the Cajun one mainly, because I thought that'd be really good, and then she got me some sample packs. Hi right, guys, so I'm at Baylor's. And I got to meet the frosting in the sink right now. We've got the back strap right there and a bag just soaking. Um, and then the ribs are right here. And no, I'm talking to the camera. Yes, ma'am. And then here are the ribs that we're going to be cooking for tonight for the game. And there's where my broadhead entered. Or maybe exited, I don't know. And uh, this is... Uh, can't wait to get this all cooked, smoked out on the big green egg. We're gonna keep you updated as we go along. Right now it's just defrosting, so it's a little slow process while we wait for it uh, and for about an hour and a half, and then we'll go and start seasoning it and cooking it because it'll take about five hours to smoke on the grill. So uh, it's gonna taste really, really good though. Tell everyone what's going on with these ribs. First off, we got them all nice and cleaned up there. But uh, Bill, tell me uh, what we are doing with recipe wise. So we're going with a kind of a coffee rub, which is interesting. I haven't really done that before. Um, and so we're gonna salt the ribs, put them in the fridge for like an hour uh, while we get the smoker going. It's called dry brining. Um, and then we're gonna take it out. We're gonna actually use mayonnaise in order to bind the coffee rub to the salt better and it provides a little more fat for the ribs. So it'll only make it tender. Um, and then after the ribs, we're going to try to cook the tenderloin and uh, hopefully it goes well. We haven't decided on the recipe yet, so. Why are you barking? 
<laughs> Why are you barking in the video, Tucker? Dude, that's looking pretty good. So we got the mayonnaise right there. We got the kosher salt. Mm -hmm. Where's the brine or whatever you're talking about? That it's the salt. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And that's Dang it. Um, so then for that that back strap, what I got defrosting in the sink right now. We're gonna be using the bearded butcher blend. I found them on YouTube when they uh, I was doing research on how to clean a deer and came across them and. I thought it was a great channel and uh, they looked like they had some pretty good seasoning and so I got a Cajun um, seasoning right there and I wanted to try uh, a couple of their other seasonings so we got Chipotle which I think will probably be one of my favorites and then the original which I'm also excited to see but I'm super excited for this Cajun one. They had another uh, season but I can't remember what it was uh, but just so y'all see right there I didn't know it's gluten free no sugar and no MSG, uh, which I don't know what MSG is, but I'm excited a little dry rub. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna cut the, the uh, little steaks into butterflies uh, cuts, I don't know yet, and just add this seasoning, do a little bit of all three of them, and see which one tastes the best. But I'm excited to get into it. This basically is just what it is, a little cooking episode, you know, celebrating the Bama versus Clemson game, right? And then we're gonna make some dessert all right, Baylor's just salting it with just the kosher salt. And we we're talking about how it's very important with ribs to make sure to get the membrane off on the back side. Uh, one, it allows it to be more tender while you are eating it. Mm -hmm. And it loosens it up and it just, you can have it. There's definitely a different taste in how it is, how it's made. Baylor, you're so gosh dang tall. It's like either get the ribs in <laughs> or the camera in. I mean, I can't. Well, so with the membrane, if you ever eat a rib and on one side, like on the bottom side of the rib, it's kind of hard and you, it's like something's holding it there and you can't get the meat off, that's usually the membrane. And so it just is a lot more convenient and it also helps cook the ribs better. So, yeah. All right, um, so we're about to put the ribs on. Uh, we got the smoker up to a decent temperature. We got some hickory chips over there that we're gonna use to add a little bit more flavor. And we have our coffee rub. We already uh, lathered the ribs up in a little bit of mayo. It just helps, again, uh, bond the seasoning to the meat itself. Uh, and so yeah, we're just gonna add it over the top. And then you're gonna just rub it in there. Um, and we'll also do a little bit on the underside. Um, never hurts. And so we're going to set it on the grill. It's going to take about one and a half to two hours to smoke. Um, and then while we're doing that, we're probably going to uh, whip up some espresso and barbecue sauce. Uh, use about a bottle of the barbecue sauce. And once it gets to about five minutes from being done on the smoker, we're going to just lather all that sauce on. Uh, we're actually going to have to heat it up on the stove to make it a little thicker. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll show y'all when, when we're doing it, so. We're so it we have our barbecue sauce made up. It uh, contains a third cup of espresso with one bottle of any barbecue sauce. I use rib rack barbecue sauce. We had some Sweet Baby Ray's, but I decided not to. Um, so now the ribs have been smoking for about two hours. I'm not sure if they're done yet. The ones on the online recipe were pretty thin. These are a little thicker, so uh, we've been trying to cook it on 225. It's kind of uh, been a little bit below it or a little above, but mostly a little above for the last two hours. So. Oh, that looks so good. It looks really good. But the meat hasn't started to retract on the bones, which is kind of what you want to see, um, which I'm pretty sure means they're not fully done yet. I'm not sure though, but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and braise them with this barbecue sauce. But go over here, I can even. That's fine. Probably just gonna. Pour it like that. Perfect.
So all we'll do now is we'll close it up, let it cook or smoke for about 10 more minutes. Let the barbecue sauce really get on there. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes since we put the barbecue sauce on. Uh, we'll see where the ribs at or are at. Um, apparently the internal temperature needs to be about 190 to 200. Yeah, a little under 170. Yeah. So probably about what, 20 minutes? What do you think? Maybe we need to... It probably needs another hour. Uh, yeah, it's it's gonna need some more time for sure. Um, so yeah, let's close this baby. Another hour? Yep. Hey, I mean, we're not in a big rush. We're doing this for the football game tonight. And so it'll just give people time to come over and it'll be done by the time they get here. So it's not a, a huge deal. Will the backtrap be done by the time we get here? They get here? Or to buy the game? Like yeah. it'll all be done by tonight? Perfect. How long do you think that backstrap will take? Like 50 minutes. Sounds good, man. We just have to get it up to 140 internal temperature on the on the backstrap. Especially we'll with those back. small butterfly cuts to it, yeah. All right, guys. So the ribs were done. We took them off. Uh, we wrapped them up in aluminum foil, let them breathe for like five, 10 minutes, and then cut ourselves one or two ribs just to try them out. They're pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with them. Um, and so now we have the, the stakes on and we're just checking. We want to see if the internal temperature is at 140. Um, if so, then they're done. And we're just cooking at like 225. It's a little less right now, but that's fine. So, yeah. Mm, they still got a while to cook, I think. Yeah, let's see. That one's sitting out. What is the core temperature on that? It's about 120. So we, we probably still have about another 20 minutes to go with these steaks. Yeah, and now these little ones we can take off before. All right, guys, so we took the steaks off. Um, they're pretty done, and they taste pretty good. Uh, we just had a little bit of a Chipotle, or uh, Cajun one. And so, yeah, we got Cajun, Chipotle, and original uh, Bearded Brothers, right? All right. <laughs> but yeah, no. Bearded butchers. Bearded butchers. Okay, yeah. Of this seasoning. It's pretty good. Dark. Put it. Cool. All right, time to eat.